、えー、と呪術のスキルとかを、えー、見せ。アイムハッピーでかい I'm happy. I will not. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, it's over for sure. Ah, shit. Shit. John Gooden is the reason social credit systems should exist in the West. I am not saying we need to cancel the guy. Relax. I don't believe in that stuff. However, I do personally believe he should not be allowed to book flights, catch trains, put his kids into good daycare, you know, get job advancement. In fact, I think he should be fired for incompetence. There is no reason to be dragging out your ad reads 30 seconds into the round of an exciting fight multiple times in the night. Enough is enough. Put him in a camp! Put him in a camp! Put him in a camp! Make him peel garlic! Pick rice! I don't care! Just get him out of here! Anyway, UFC fight night Song Yadong versus Chris Gutierrez. Just ended, and we're gonna dive into a recap. It ended pretty late last night, so I just got up. I'm tired. And it wasn't like a crazy great card. It was a good card. I think it was like a perfect representation of the glory of China because it's, it was a bit of an underwhelming card with some good potential on display, if you feel me. Regardless, I'm gonna give a A、uh, quick breakdown of my picks. I went seven and four on the card, four and five on the main card. Perfect main event pick. I predicted it. Boring five round decision. Dominant win for Song Yudong. It's exactly how it went. Chris Gutierrez gave up fighting off the back foot in like round three, just like Rigo said. Anyway, shout out to the topology winner from this week's event, J Money Rider. Really great picks. Went 10. In one on the card or something like that. Really, really great picks. Congrats, my friends. The card started out with Alan Carr versus Dos Santos. Last minute name change to her middle name. They were calling her like Amanda. I was so confused. I don't need to be that confused, John Gooden. Over the early prelim opener. Women's. Why is she changing her name? Her name's Dos Santos. It's not Amanda. That's a middle name. Your short said Dos Santos. They had Amanda written up there. It's apology last minute. That's, that's basically, hey, that's the highlight of this fight. Bunch of confusion with the name. Dos Santos lost to Alan Carr. It's probably a robbery. That Montalvo guy, I believe, judged it. And did he not give Tabitha Ricci the win over Lupita Godinez? Wouldn't he or something like that? Regardless, corruption, corruption, who cares? Good win for Alan Carr. 0 and 1 to start the card for Rigo. Now, Tatsuro Taira versus Hernandez was a sick fight. If you're going to watch back a fight, watch this back because Taira looked great. Everything I said I wanted to see from him in the predictions video, he showed us. He showed us some good, solid ground and pound in the first round.、Uh, the, the round started out fun. It was like a lot of good scrambles. Hernandez was actually doing a good job. And then Taira just started grapple graping him and ground and pounding him. It was nice. Round ended. He comes out in the second round. Sparks him. Sparks him. Starts landing mustard on the poor guy. Puts him out. And yells. Goes to. He, he kind of trolled the audience. I'm happy to go! I'm happy! He knows what the MMA fans want. We want broken English catchphrases. That's, that's about it. He called out. Mohamed Makayev. That's a great matchup. He beats Makayev. He beats him on the ground and he beats him on the feet. I would pick him the KO Makayev after seeing this last performance. Now we can move to the Stephanie Yeager versus Luana Santos fight. I don't really have much to say about it. Luana Santos came in four pounds overweight and won,、uh, bringing Rigo to two and one on the card. I think a lot of people picked Santos. What? Yeager is just old at this point. You know what I mean? And、not very good. Neither of these are very good. The striking was super embarrassing. Garcia versus Melk. 
Azal Costa, Steve Garcia versus Maquiziel Costa. Maquiziel Costa. Whatever. Good fight! Good fight. I picked Marcus Costa. Happy to be wrong. First round, he just grapple graped him and did nothing with it. Did nothing with it. If, if Steve just had been able to get out in like the last 30 seconds and land some shots, he would have stolen the round. However, he didn't need to. He just came out and decided to put the pain on that man. And Cristonioni said, hey, you're not going home until you're 10 times uglier than you already are. And he just let Steve Garcia pound him out. Brutal elbows, split him open. Melk Costa was in on a single leg on Chris Tognoni for like 45 seconds, covered in blood, looking all around, grabbing up on Chris Tognoni. It's like, and hey, shout out Chris Tognoni. Great takedown defense. Not much more to say about that. Good dog win. I believe Melk was, Melk Costa was the favorite. Probably shouldn't have been, right? A good win for Steve Garcia. Excited to see him uh, compete again. I don't think he took really any damage in that fight, so we could probably see him early next year. Park versus Ross went exactly how I'm pretty sure a lot of people thought, exactly how I thought it was gonna go. You know. Oh wait, sorry, I thought it was gonna be ending the first. However, Park decided he wanted to try to submit Ross instead of just pounding him out on the ground. It was a good fun first round though, and I'll give Ross, he's got heart, man, and he was like willing to fight. No matter what, and he's like getting tagged and just coming back in and trying to get some respect, but it did not turn out for him. He got put out in the second with that st sequence starting with a nice liver shot. It was a, a KO sequence, TKO, whatever, in the second. So good performance from Hung, Hung, Hung Sun Park. Wild name. And we can move up to the featured prelim now. Jusette versus Song Kanon. Kevin Jusette versus Song Kanon. Listen, I picked Son Kanong as a dog. He's the only dog I rode with on the card. Clearly should have picked some other dogs, but he didn't have what it takes to beat Juset. Juset had a good performance. What can we say? Like, I know a lot of people weren't super happy with the fight because it wasn't the most exciting, but the volume Juset was throwing was very impressive, and he was able to just get hot off his game and his style. And it is nice to see a fighter, like, affect a game plan and fight a fight exactly how he wants to fight. So, there you go. Like, I, I don't think Juse is great or anything. He's kind of like a worse Izzy or a worse Ian Gary at the moment. But, he's got a decent chin. And he doesn't take a lot of damage. Especially, like, you know, and he's pretty smart. He wasn't putting himself in any situations that, like, Ian Gary was when he was fighting Song Kanan. So, he's honestly got room to improve. And he might be a decent addition to the World uh Division. I don't mind that type of style. It's not the most exciting, but I don't mind the type of style. It's quite a volume heavy style. And he, he was willing, you know, he's willing to throw some good shots in the clinch and dirty box and use that judo clinch. So no problem with Jusei's win. Good win for the Frenchman. The main card started out with Andre Muniz versus the Iron Turtle. Another park, whatever his name is, Jungsung Park or something. Jeez, man. He has a little bit more diversity in the names, South Korea. But anyway, Iron Turtle versus Andre Muniz, the only fight I got wrong on the main card and honestly it was a I think a bit of a robbery like especially it was a split decision right and then you had that same judge I think this might have been the fight that I might be mixing up the Allen Carr fight with this fight but I think it was the same judge who scored this fight one of the judges who scored this fight for Muniz didn't even land a single significant strike in the third round also gave the decision to Ricci over Godinez. And uh, it's Montalvo, the judge. And the rep, Jason Montalvo, whatever his name is. Sus, what the heck? And he's like a BJJ practitioner as well. Sus, that's bias. That's not, he didn't win the fight. I don't care. Iron Turtle stole the first round because Muniz did nothing. And like, whatever, but it is, what was it? It was a mediocre, it's like a mediocre bad at cardio versus a really crappy grappler. Like, it just sucked, to be honest. I was looking forward to Iron Turtle putting out Muniz, it didn't happen. Whatever. We can move up to Elliot versus Sumerderji. I thought Elliot was a lock, and he got it done against the Tibetan. And the Tibetan went out exactly as I thought, just two rounds earlier. I think I think third round sub for Tim Elliott happened in the first. He just walked through Sumerderji. Literally walked through him. The guy was like spitting out blood as he was getting subbed. But yeah, I knew once Tim got him to the ground, it, it was over. So I just expected a little bit more from Sumer Doji. I can't actually remember exactly what I picked in that fight, but whatever. Good performance from Tim Elliott. Okay, Nazra Hagpras versus Jamie Malarkey. Insanely fun finish. Watch this back. I almost forgot it happened. So I was looking at my notes because it was so quick. Nazra just came out, started 
caught him, started beating on him. Jamie was unconscious, but able to get back to his feet. Crazy good, uh, Jeanette. Well, that's actually bad. Like your body getting back to your feet when you're like, uh, your inbred brain telling you to get up. Whatever. He got brutalized by Nazrat. I think Nazrat's uh, looking really good now, especially that he's been st staying at that same camp out in Morocco. He's clearly getting into like a good diet and his physique is improving and stuff. I know some people are saying some PED allegations, but hey, uh, if you bet on Malarkey, just chill because um, there's no reason to slander Nazrat because Malarkey lost. He sucks. He's literally Malarkey. Smith versus Khalil. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, first round, Smith was actually doing somewhat okay. Able to walk down Khalil, negate a lot of those leg kicks, force Khalil to do a lot of uh, uh, lateral movement and taking away a lot of that power from his, his straight, straight left. However, Khalil did land the better shots in the first round. I had to give the round to Khalil, especially with the sequences he was landing at the end, the combos. He landed some like, nasty body kicks and some combos towards the end, and have, Smith was showing some damage, right? So, second round was another fun, good round, but it was just more of the same, and Khalil just pulling more and more ahead. And then in the third round, he caught Smith, wobbled him, Smith was all, and then he like, emoted on the mother mother after pretending to do a hammer fist and the ref just waited off hey first ko by emo i know some people are going like early stop it no what do you want to see you guys are sick in the head which leads me to my point that i actually want to discuss about this michael bisbean is a bad friend michael bisbean is a terrible friend a terrible terrible friend we all knew that was gonna happen you telling us that we're dummies and we don't understand the sport and we should pick Anthony Smith is crazy. Stop gaslighting us just because you also gaslight your friend and co-host. Bro, what's funny is he's not going to retire. He's going to recover over the Christmas season. He's going to come back and take some fight in like February. And Michael Bisney is going to be like, oh, you sure you should take this? And then immediately start glazing and going, yeah, you, you can beat, you know, who, I don't know who he's going to take a fight against. <laughs> In Akaliyev or something. If I was close to Anthony Smith, I would just tell him, like, hey man, like these people don't care about you. And they're almost doing it for clicks. Like it's good for the BYM podcast for you to get brutalized every two months. It's not good for you though, my friend. It's not good for you and it's not good for your kids. Just stop at this point, I'd say, man. You're not cut out for it. You're not cut out for it. You freeze up in the octagon. You're scared. You're scared, man. You straight up said that if your kids weren't in the house, your wife and kids weren't in the house, you would have hid under the bed when the home invader came in. You wouldn't have even confronted him. I would have turned that man into Swiss cheese. Anyway, I don't want to drag out like the Anthony Smith thing because I honestly feel bad for him. Kind of. I liked, I liked it. I like to see, hey, I loved that finish last night. Anyway, let's just move up and up to the first, sorry, the main event of the evening. And that was Song Yudong versus Chris Gutierrez. Went exactly as I thought it was going to go. Song was going to be super dangerous in the start, but he wasn't going to be able to catch uh, Chris because Chris was going to be active with those kicks and just playing footsie with little Song. Gutierrez did land a sick front kick at one point, I think in like the second or something, but then just completely pulled off. Just didn't want to win after the third. Like I said he would because he know, oh, oh, close rounds. I lost two and then I lost the third and just pulls off and Song was doing a good job of stealing the rounds. So it was a good win from Song Yudong. A lot of people were like, no, 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 Gutierrez is going to get, no, Gutierrez didn't have anything for Song. Uh, Gutierrez kind of sucks. He does suck. And it's not even that like his skills aren't there. He doesn't have the heart. He's similar to like, he's not similar to Anthony Smith. That's really disrespectful to Chris Gutierrez. He's just like a zesty Chicano, right? He's just a zesty Chicano. And they've never been known as being good fighters. It was a bit of a lackluster main event. Regardless, I thought it was a fun rap card all around. Thanks for anyone who was in the live stream last night. I'll be live for 296 this weekend. I'll try to go live early for it during the prelims. You know, sometime around like 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern time. And then I'm going to be putting out a bunch of 296 focused content this week. Starting with a picks video, obviously. I'm going to get that out tomorrow, hopefully. And then I have some other content on like Leon Edwards and Shavkat I want to get out during this week. Plus some mixed drink shorts. Keep an eye out. We're back on the grind. And Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. 
shout out once again to the topology winner j money rider and if you enjoyed the video drop a like it really does help and if you are new to the channel subscribe i post the widest variety of mma content I'd like to give a big thank you to all my channel members. Without you guys, the channel would not be possible. And a special thanks to my Lion Tier members. Cultus Gordon, Mexican Gnome, Clarence, Mike Brannigan, Javier, Cobra Kai, Pigger, Patrick Hall, Droid C, John Paul DeHoria, Pulpitank TV, Jack Clash, High Cap Native, Wings of Heart Problems, Boss Skaggs, RC Cola, Name, Maximus Decimus 88, Hans Molman, Uniform Down, Carter, Franz, Jesse on Estrogen, Abdiel, Darkstar MMA, Sunny Nihilist, Bubster Johnson, TKH, and Anti Rigo. Dime, Bobby. Dime, mommy.